Hey, good evening, guys. It's Steve Cap. I have Jay Whip. Hope everyone's doing okay out there. This evening's video, I wanted to talk to you about the FT9918 uh, antenna tuner, built-in tuner. But I wanted to give you a little background. Uh, recently, my Charlie Papa 610 uh, antenna, for whatever reason, the SWR curve has changed. Meaning that what I used to have really good SWR readings on 10 meter, um, uh, about 1.4 to 1.5. I now have about 1.8 to 2. So they're a little bit higher. But what's interesting is 6 meter has actually come down from 2.8 SWR down to about 1.4. So the antenna has done some things differently. But what I noticed was I ran a sweep on it and I now can actually use this antenna on 40 meter and 17 meter. But what I wanted to show you tonight was just a little bit about what this antenna tuner does and some of the uh, the ability to take a, 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 a not so good SWR uh, reading on a certain frequency and how the tuner can actually deal with it. So I want to give you some examples. So real quick on 10 meter uh, is the frequency in use. Kilo, India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot. You see we're running about 2 on the SWR reading right there. If I run the tuner, I can bring that in, and that'll pretty much come down. I'm tuning in at 75 watts, and now when I use the radio, the, t the SWR is going to be pretty close to flat. Kilo, India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot, calling CQ, CQ, 10 meter. Uh, no one's on the air tonight. I'd be shocked if there was, but that'd be kind of cool. Anyway, you notice what the antenna tuner did was now, without the tuner on, Kilo, India 5, now when I turn on the in tuner, Kilo India 5. So it's basically, it's able to take the impedance mismatch of the antenna feed line system, antenna and coax, and is able to adjust it so that the radio is happy and it sees approximately 50 ohms. So it looks, to the radio, it looks to be a balanced feed line. But where I'm going with this, let me show you what it looks like on 6 meter. 6 meter, I've always had a problem on 6 meter, now it works fine, so I don't know here for sure. On 6 meter, if I turn off the antenna tuner, it's going to run about 1.4. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. Very good performance. And if I engage the tuner, which I think I have it stored in memory, Kilo India 5, it's flat. But here's the bonus. I realized when I did the antenna sweep, I now have a resident of ability to transmit on 17 meter and 40 meter. So let me go to 17 meter real quick. 17 meter is uh, 18.68 to 18.168 uh, and I've got, uh, let me go to voice real quick. This is 17 meter. I've never been able to talk on here before but now I can. So let me demonstrate again what the antenna tuner does. Without the antenna tuner engaged, I'm going to run about 3 on the SWR meter. And there were some QSOs up here. Let me see if I can find them real quick. They may be gone. The band may have just dropped. So let me show you what I've got. With the antenna tuner turned off on 17 meter, I'm running about 2.8 to 2.9 on the SWR. Watch what happens. I'm going to transmit without the antenna tuner. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot. Kilo India 5. You see where I'm running just above 3? It's right about in this area here. What the tuner will do is when I engage the tuner, it will tune this frequency to the antenna system. It's going to match the antenna system to the radio which is going to present roughly about 50 ohms impedance to the uh, inlet of the radio. Now with the, with the tuner on, Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot. I still have a high SWR reading from the antenna feed line system. I do have a lot of loss there. There's not a lot of power getting out. There is power getting out, but with the high SWR reading, engaging the tuner, at least now the radio is happy with what it has. So let me demonstrate. 
let me change frequency here. This 27 was a popular frequency here. It looks like the band has just actually dropped. They just had people on here a few minutes ago. I've changed frequency from my previously frequency where I tuned it. Now notice how the what the antenna tuner does. It's still able to become a, it's still able to be active. Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. So the beauty of this is what I'm learning is even though I tuned it at a specific frequency, I've been able to move up and down from that frequency and the antenna tuner is able to still do its job. And the reason I know it's doing its job is because it's maintaining this lower SWR reading into the radio. Again, it doesn't do anything to the antenna system or the coax. It's simply adjusting the internal radio portion of it so that it can see approximately a 50 ohm uh, balanced feed line. So again, it doesn't fix anything with the antenna or the imbalance on the antenna system. It just makes the radio happy. So we had some stations here. Let me uh, let me try a couple of them here. Uh, let's see. This is where I had one. Let's see if this is guy is still here. Now I'm running 75 watts with the tuner engaged. Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. Now, what I want to show you, let me demonstrate this, because this is important. What you're seeing here is a good, is a good SWR. Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. Now, I'm going to show you what the actual needle is doing, if I can zoom up here real quick. I want you to watch, actually, what's happening on the feed line of the system. What you're seeing now up here, this is what's happening on the antenna feed line. Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. I've got a very high SWR reading here and I've also got power going out. But where those two lines cross is roughly about three. If you look right here where these two needles come together, what you're seeing here is that 2.5 to 3, that's the SWR. Watch again. Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. So again, this is what's happening on the feed line, the uh, coax and the antenna. What you're seeing here, try to <laughs> do some camera magic here. What you're seeing here, this right here, this is what's happening on the radio. The antenna tuner inside the radio has balanced the antenna and the feed line, or the uh, feed line and the antenna, to be as close as it can to 50 ohms. Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ, CQ, Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. So, the beauty of this is we are able to utilize this radio. This antenna system, even though the SWR is around 2.5 to 2.9, this radio can deal with it. Now, let's go down to 40 meter. And this is something I've never been able to get to 40 meter, meter also. So I'm going to go down to the, let's go to the um, CW region. Now, now we're down here in the CW region real quick. Let's let's switch to voice. Let's go ahead and change the mode. We'll change the mode to lower sideband. Let's go up here to voice.
Now let me demonstrate what's happening here on 40 meter with this antenna. With the Let's move off of here for a minute here, let these guys talk. I'm going to transmit now on 40 meter, and I want you to notice what the SWR reading is. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot. The SWR is running about two and a half, and my light, for some reason, likes to flash on this particular band. I'm going to engage the tuner. Again, this tuner, it can now take this Charlie Papa 610 antenna and now it can tune it. Now watch what happens now. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot. SWR is clear. <laughs> and my light likes to pulse on and off. But let's take a look and see what's happening up here. This will give you a head. This again, this will show you what's happening on the feed line. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot, calling CQ, CQ, Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot. So again, what, what's happening is now we are able to take the tuner in the 991A and we're able to utilize it to deal with these somewhat high SWR readings. But they're not, they're not out of the realm of possibility with the 991A, so we're able to do that. So let's go back to, I like to, let's go back to, let's see here. Stand by one second. Okay, what we're going to do next is now we're going to go back to uh, 17 meter and see if we can make some uh, QSOs. I've got the tuner engaged. What's nice about this is the radio seems to remember a lot of the settings, so let's try it again, is the frequency in use. And again, the SWR is almost one-to-one. -one. If I take the tuner off, Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. So we have a really high SWR reading, but the tuner is able to deal with this. So let's see if we can get anybody on here. Uh, man, I'd love to make a QSO here. The band has dropped. Really tough station to bring in there. I know I got it up, kind of working, but uh, they like to play with the tube ones. And I got another tube one, tube one I got working. So I'm going to try, I don't know, find the big four around here, give it to you. Make a note to hear what this frequency is. Here. See if we can go find them.
DNR here real quick. Digital noise reduction. Right, it's one way done, common. He's jumping up and down, begging me, begging me like a human being. Zero, 1 to 15 are the settings here. I've still got control of it. He built up a big appetite. He was sleeping. Most of the day he was sleeping above the uh, dining room. What table is there? Got amp one on in the DNR. There's the DNR right there, see? The DNR is still active up here, even though I've cleared it. Yeah, that's what uh that's what the other black cat does when uh, he's up there on the dining room table, because they have to walk by it when they come from outside. Now what we're gonna do, let's go over here to the out. width. making this more narrower here with the width. This is my bass pan, pass band here. Yeah, that's what I call him, Brett Cat. Get up, Brett Cat. Brett Cat. So, uh, anyway, if I feed them, then they'll mellow out. All right, let's, let's do the shift. The shift is going to move to one side out. to the other. Uh, I guess, uh, hey, on the uh, radio, what, what floor did you do trivia on 75 meters? That was one of the questions. See, I'm way over here on the one side of the pass band. Yeah, the answer, wherever they got it from, was 14 hours a day. So what I'm doing here is I'm moving to one side to the other of his pass band. So, uh, they're up a little and they sleep all day. And let's see if there's another one. Yeah, uh, they're in here. And I was outside today. It was about 100 for a while. I would have got the lead meter going, so I gave up on it. Put that back to zero. Check our DNR again. Watch this. Now the DNR is active up here. Change the width. Put it back to 2800. Clear these. DNR again. Watch what happens when I turn the DNR on. Listen. That DNR takes care of a lot of that a lot of that static. See how I'm able to bring him in? Now listen when I turn the DNR off. DNR on. So, all right, we'll go back and turn off the preamp. Preamp is turned here. Amp uh, one is about minutes, 20 dB or. There's your amp two right there. That's about 1.6 S units there. That's about three units on the two gain, which is 20 dB, I believe. All right, so that's a little bit about what's going on there. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to get a bill to get a QSO with these guys, but I thought it might be good just to show you what the SWR does. I have a antenna feed line system that's not exactly balanced to any specific uh, band, and of course, which antenna is. But I'm able to take the antenna tuner and I'm able to do things with it where I can actually get on these bands. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, just kind of wanted to uh, share with you something new or at least some an example of something new of uh, what you have with the uh, antenna tuner in the 991A with the DNR, digital noise reduction, uh, and the width command and the shift command. So we were able to do some things there with the audio that was able to bring his uh, clarity in a little bit better. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, 73. Thanks.